Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do something a little bit different. I've had, um, I can't remember who commented, but somebody asked me to do a tattoo tour, journal, whatever you want to call it, about my tattoos. Now I have a lot of tattoos, so it's going to be a bit much if I jam pack it all into one video, I think. So instead, I think what I want to do is go over maybe my left sleeve a little bit and maybe we'll dip into the right sleeve. I don't really know on that, but for sure we're going to go over this guy. So uh, first off, I, what did I even start with on the sleeve? Gosh, um, so I tattooed myself. I did right here the script. Stop trying to focus on my face camera, gosh. Uh, my kingdom for a horse. Uh, basically, it is a Shakespeare quote, and they have it in Henry VIII, I think is the play that it's in. I didn't know this at first. I actually found it in the movie Coraline. It's this weird part where one of the girls is, like, flying down the stairs, and she says, My kingdom for a horse! And she, like, hits the stairs, and, like, her voice bounces. I don't know why. It just really hit me. Um, and to me, it means uh, everything I own for my spiritual freedom. So it's kind of like, don't let the things you own, own you. So I actually was in a really bad car accident in 2011. I flipped my forerunner on the highway. Luckily, it was a late night, so nobody else was really out and nobody actually got hurt. Surprisingly, honestly. It was really traumatic and intense, um, but basically, this is my reminder kind of to not let the things that you own end up owning you and instead to be very present in your reality and really be aware of your effect on other people and how important that is and I don't know that's that's in summary pretty much what this guy means so that is the first one I ever got on this arm and then I actually had a little octopus in here with an ex-boyfriend that got covered up and flopped away because no <laughs> Uh, let's see, what was the second one that I got on this arm? So then I did my brain and I did the arrow right here. So the, uh, the brain is from, I was taking interior design classes at the time. So, and I still said it wrong. <laughs> people who live in warm colored rooms tend to be more right brained and people who live in cold colored rooms tend to be more left brained. And so it's kind of this concept about how your reality affects you and how like as well here I've got like these little particles kind of coming in and out of the brain and everything and so it's kind of like how your reality affects you and then I've got these little tree branches sort of and how we kind of grow with that reality and how our reality forms us but we're also forming our reality at the same time and it's kind of like these atoms that are flying in and out of your reality, co-creating stuff and how that comes down into the physical being and then affects who you are. I think from there, I honestly started on my sleeve. So I have an astronaut here with the earth reflecting in his uh, helmet and I've got him coming all the way down here. Now initially it was started by another artist, this upper half was, and I was really lucky to have my friend Mika who tattooed my neck, my chest, most all of my tattoos are done by her. Um, I was really lucky to have her just redo the whole thing all the way down. Uh, but anyway, so the reason why I wanted this piece was because, again, kind of similar to the brain, this understanding of how our outward perspective affects our reality. So you've got him here with his little peace sign and he's guys cowabunga. And it's kind of like this understanding that like, you've got to ride the waves of your life but through that, do your best to just be at peace and harmony and exude that energy to everybody else. And it's also kind of the concept we're all made up out of stardust. So your, your perspective is affecting your reality and your people and your planet around you. And also, you're also infinite and whole, just like space and time moving through reality. So it's pretty, pretty deep, I guess. Um, so that is how the astronaut got started. He's obviously the main subject matter of this whole sleeve. Um, then I did my hand here at some point and um, mostly I just got the sunflower because I absolutely love sunflowers. That's my favorite flower since I was very little. Um, I grew one once and it was huge and that was, that was pretty cool because uh, I didn't try. I just threw some seeds in the ground and was like, <sighs> you know, like 
as you do when you're a kid and you're like a little like <laughs> fairy princess land. You're just like, I'm just throw seeds into the ground and see if they blossom. At least that was me as a kid. So anyway, I think I did probably this guy next. So, um, obviously it has a quote, we all shine on below it. At that time, I was really into channeling John Lennon and his energy. I know he can be kind of a polarizing character for some people. Other people just really absolutely love him. Um, whatever. So that for me was really profound though, because it is this concept of, again, kind of this whole sleeve has to do with the infinite self and the understanding of death. And I think a lot of people spend a lot of time trying to conceptualize and identify what death means to them. Um, maybe not everybody, but that's something that I spend a lot of time looking at, thinking about, meditating on, and seeing if I can deepen my wisdom into it. So, uh, yeah, I got that guy and he's got the third eye right here. And I like the way that it played out up into the brain here and with the arrow and everything. Um, it's dot work style because I wanted to kind of exude, I really, again, love Native American culture and aesthetics and everything is just so beautiful. Um, so I did the dots because it reminded me of those beadwork skulls that you see that are just like freaking cool. So um, that's kind of where that style came from. This one I did on myself as well as the brain, the arrow, and the script right here. Um, and then I had uh, somebody else add this cactus on. I won't say who, because I'm not a fan, but. So this cactus I got for my uh, grandparents out in Arizona. Uh, unfortunately, my grandfather literally just recently passed away, but I was really happy to have this before that fact happened because um, it means a lot to me, but it's cool. It's kind of got like a little sunset going on around behind it. Uh, and then I had Mika add on this awesome little spaceship here. It's like glittery, so cute. So yeah, the spaceship for me, I don't know, I just, I just wanted it, honestly. You get to this point where you have so many tattoos, you're kind of like, well, you know, like a spaceship would be extra cool because we already got space going on, so let's just throw in an awesome little saucer here. Uh, so I already had this midline kind of going up here and kind of connecting into the sleeve because I was going to try to rework a lot of it myself. Um, so I did my hand myself and then built in this kind of like watery like goo that was gonna come up and then I had snowflakes actually around it but it just it wasn't looking quite right so I just was like Mika can you just fill me in man make it look cool or I'm just off of whatever the fudge I'm trying to do here um so yeah she did that for me and then I've got my finger tattoos so I obviously have a wild here on my left hand now this whole sleeve here is kind of meant to be like the the true I'm trying to think how to explain this. Um, the concrete energy, like the walls, right? It's meant to be like the nature, the truth, the uh, the concrete things in your life, the tangible, touchable. This whole sleeve kind of touches on that. So wild for me was meant to go with this hand because it's meant to be kind of more of the the true primal aesthetics of life, sort of, uh, if that makes sense at all, but to me it does, so that works. So I've got wild here, and then I have um, these bands I need to touch up, and I haven't yet, because they hurt, but I'll do it someday. And then uh, I've got a teepee here. So my reasoning uh, for my fingers were actually kind of last minute, honestly. Um, which I'm a huge fan of having meaning to your pieces, but I kind of just like, it was like, this is what I want, so this is what I'm gonna do. Um, so yeah, I wanted the bird, the bald eagle skull, because again, this sleeve has a lot to do with life and death, but I wanted it specifically because that is like the totem that I like to work with, um, especially when I was doing a lot of shamanic meditations and things along those lines um this this was my jam right here so i also kind of wanted to get it on the flip side for humor because i'm a huge fan of just trying to bring like humor into stuff so i got it so i could flip the bird at people you know um thought it was funny i still like it 
Uh, then I got the dream catcher because again, I just kind of wanted to keep with the aesthetics of what was going on with my whole uh, whatever arm here, right? I'm trying to keep my face out of the way <laughs> so it doesn't focus on me. Um, my little sun on my thumb, I got this one uh, because there's a tapestry. I don't know if you guys have ever seen those. They're not really tapestries, but they're like the little things that you would like tie around your waist at like the beaches. And I don't know if that's still popular. I think it is. Um, you'd have like your tank top on everything. You have like that little tied sash right here. Be like running around out in the sun. Um, anyway, it was one of those with the little twirlies on the end. Uh, but it had these like suns on it. And if I relax my eyes, it kind of like they move really beautiful. So I wanted to get that just because that's something that I've had with me, that tapestry since I was really young. Uh, I went to Mexico when I was pretty, pretty young, honestly, and I really enjoyed the tapestry. So that's pretty much that one, not too crazy. Uh, that's the whole hand. This guy needs a little bit of a touch up. So obviously I have the inside of the armpit. This one I literally got just to match this pit. That's about as crazy as it gets. That is my left arm tour. Absolutely love it. I forgot one. Okay, so this one, super cute. This one is my sister and I um, on a swing set. So it's kind of like whenever we're really stressed out um, or we just need to relax or just hang out and have a good time, uh, we would always go swing together when we were kids and there's a lot of memories I have of her and I just going to the park and just swinging all the time. So um, it's pretty much just that, you know, just kind of like swinging through life in the middle of space, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, I do have the palm of my hand too. Um, this is something that I just kind of channeled one night um, and was just doing this like, um, oh, I'm out of focus. I was doing this like doodle once a, once a day thing for a whole month. I didn't get all the way through it because that's a whole lot of work. Um, but I was doing, I think this was like number five or something and I need to touch it up. The palms are awful, they feel horrible. And you really have to dig and almost blow out the lines in order to get them to stay. So eventually I will go through and touch this guy up and fix it up so you guys can actually see what it's like truly supposed to be. But it's like an eyeball with these like mountains on the inside and um, like a moon inside of the pupil. Uh, but yeah, this one I didn't really have super too much of a reason for other than it was just kind of like something... I saw in my future in that moment and knew that I just needed to get it in order to accomplish whatever that was. So that's pretty much that. Uh, if you guys like my earrings, by the way, I think I said it in my last video, but if you like these at all, um, I am selling them. So reach out to me on my Instagram and I will uh, definitely let you know how much they are to order and all that good stuff but I really love them. They're super pretty. And um, I think that's pretty much it, guys. So uh, if you have any questions on my left arm, I guess let me know. This is my left arm tattoo tour. It probably has the most meaning built into all of it out of all of my pieces, but pretty much everything I have has meaning. These two tie in with one another, but that'll be explained whenever I do another tattoo tour video, pretty much. So uh, if you guys have any questions or you think that there's anything that you'd really like me to make content on or whatever, just comment down below. I do try to get back to all of you. I really enjoy talking to you guys. So anyway, that's pretty much that. I hope you guys have a great day. Love you. Bye.